Hey guys, it's Sharon, Little Britain Company. Um, I'm back. And yeah, it really is me. Uh, I got my, I got my hair cut. I got it chopped off. Um, it was going all the way down to my bum. And, uh, and I had a, a fabulous haircut. Um, Amber from Moxie did a great job. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I hope you all like it. I do hope you like it. I'm really happy with it. Now this is her quaffing. My hair generally does not lay flat ish. <laughs> my hair is a little bit heavy and, um, curly. So it can be, oh, let me fix it back up again. Um, and it's a little bit curly. So as soon as I wash it and let it do its thing, we'll see what happens. But right now it's beautiful because <laughs> she, she finished it. So what we have here today is a heck of a load. So let me tell you, we have one, two, three. Oh wait. Um, so here's the deal. This is a massive Timu haul. Massive. And I'm breaking it down kind of into categories just so I can handle it. Otherwise, I don't think I can handle it. It's just so huge. Um, so what happened here? Let me just explain what happened here. What happened here is I let uh, Little Brit and Big Brit loose. And then we went looking for things that weren't necessarily uh craft items um so i did do there are there's definitely a partial craft haul going on here um what i'm gonna show you today is different for me this is all like household and car and other things next we will do um i also have uh so I'll, there'll be four hauls this was this was huge this was two orders and here's something interesting i know i'm, I'm skipping around this was weird so they combined, they were two orders that were, they were within a couple of days, um, but they combined the orders. So I would get a, you know, one of the bags, each thing had like mixed orders in it, which I found kind of weird. Um, it, I mean, it worked, but it took me a long time when I printed everything out. It was one order, I think was 19 pages. And one order was 60 pages. But it's okay. Because, you know, we're pretty excited about it also. Um, and I also am not positive that I'm going to get through this entire order today. So the, like, household type stuff, it might be broken down into two parts. Uh, only because I really don't want to go over an hour. I'm just having so many problems loading the videos when I go over that hour mark, uh, they just take forever. I mean, I've had some that take three days to load. And so it's really hard to get things out to you uh, the way I try to. I try to have posts every other day. Um, that's, it's just not happening when I can't do that. So we'll, we, we will, we will rock on and we will get going with this one and let's see where we are. I, are you all ready? I just want to make sure, do you have like a drink and a snack and, you know, a little bit of time on your hands <laughs> to hang out with me today? Because I really do have some kind of exciting things to show you. It was really fun. Now, this is a very honest haul video. I am not being sponsored this time. Although, Timu, if you want to sponsor me again, I will be happy for that. But um, I had to unpack everything and label it. Otherwise, I... There's just no way I could have found everything in a reasonable amount of time. Taking everything out and labeling it took me about three hours. Uh-huh. Which is why I didn't get the video done yesterday because I was still pulling stuff out and labeling it. Um, it took a while. It took a while. So, but it's all done and then I sorted it and... Um, while I was going through and just putting things, I for, for the most part, I've I haven't taken things out of the bags. You'll see that in real time, the same as I will. 
but there were some things because just to identify it i had to take it out because sometimes you can't tell what things are and um there are some hits and misses there are a few misses so you know um we'll take a look and then i've done a little bit of math of, about a couple of things so all right let us begin so this is um let's go lace on it um i'm not a lacy person uh so th this lovely thing is meant to go over the top of your food we love to eat outside i don't love flies i don't love bugs and things getting into my food what and oh you pull it like this okay so you pull it like this oh i see and uh, so this sits on your food um i <laughs> So this looks perfectly reasonable, perfectly usable. It was a dollar eighty-eight. So for the price, I'm not sure I would need to order this from Timu to get a decent price on these. Um, but <laughs> I will say, I don't love lace on a lot of things. There's so, anyway. Um, I'm gonna take the lace off because. <laughs> Anyway, I am, uh, I may be a Southern girl, but I don't need a parasol. Um, so, but very useful. The netting's really good. So it'll keep the flies out of the food while we're waiting to get stuff out and eat. And I, I wanted it because it's a little bit on the bigger side that I will say that's one nice thing about this one that I haven't really seen with a lot of the other ones. We have several that like cover our plates, um, but finding one that was a little bit bigger that would cover like a serving plate. Um, that's what I was looking for with that one. So, you know, it's an okay. Um, all right. This is, uh, <clears throat> so that's why I said that was all right. This is okay. So this is for your shopping bag. This was $4 and 38 cents. So not super cheap. Um, let's take it out and look at it. I, I have some first impressions right now, but I haven't pulled it out to look at it. <clears throat> okay. So, You're supposed to put it in your shopping cart. I imagine it hooks on like this, maybe. I don't know. I will figure it. Oh, there. I see it. Okay. So there's uh, right here. You, I guess, slide it through there. Yep. And then you hook it on to your shopping cart and it expands. It's got a nice expansion there. I thought it would be wider in this direction. And I would really, really try to read as much as I can in the descriptions. Some descriptions are great. They're very, you know, they're really good. It just depends on which company Timo's using because they, they're using a lot and they have lots of companies they work with. Um, but I definitely expected it to be bigger, especially based on the pictures. And I will say, guys, do not use the, the Timu pictures to decide on whether you think something's going to fit. Don't do it, please. Because the pictures are incredibly deceptive. Um, and, and as I said, I mean, they work with a lot of different companies and that's all, you know, fine and good. Uh, but I don't like deception. Um, however, having said that, for four dollars and 38 cents but i order this again i don't know you know i'll use it uh the material is is almost uh burlappy it's okay uh we'll see i'll i'll use it you know if i decide that it that it deserves more than like a three or four i'll let you know later right now i'm looking at a three or four so okay at the moment this uh this cute little uh wooden tray this was 428 um and i actually the the way it looked this is the other thing about timu um sometimes there'll be something with it in the picture and even if it says one piece it could mean that it's the set to them is a piece i've seen that happen or sometimes it's just the individual this cute little tray it's a nice little tray for 428 i can probably get something similar at the dollar tree so this is, you know, a miss for me. Um, oh, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be fun if it's, if it's not a great haul. Um, some of it is. 
Okay, so I got, you know, simple gardening gloves. I have a big hand. I do. And there's a clothing haul coming. So along with, I didn't even tell you guys. I can't believe I didn't tell you. First, I'm sorry for all of the, the crinkly, but I haven't, un, uh, you know, I, I unboxed it, but I didn't open things. So you get to see the first opening. Um, but I separated it into sort of household mixture. There's car stuff and things. And then there's a craft haul that co that's coming. There is a clothing and shoes. And uh, that ought to be interesting. And then um, there's like a jewelry type thing. Okay, so they feel okay. Um, the proof will be in the pudding. You know, they're gardening gloves. Uh, they're, this, this, this one, based on the sizing, uh, I couldn't get, let's see, I don't think they had uh, a different sizing. This is too small for my hand because my, the, the, um, the base of my thumb is down here. So, and my fingers, the base of my fingers is down here. So, this is a definite miss for me. If you have a smaller hand, it's probably fine. But it's also, at $1.18, it's only a little bit cheaper than Dollar Tree. So, all right, today, Dollar Tree's winning. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can, what's next? This is a, this is, well, if it works, this to me is going to be a big win. So this is a, an ice cube tray. It's adorable. It is absolutely adorable. And it was six cents. Six cents. I'm not sure anybody can beat that. <laughs> if I can get it open. Um, I wanted to compare the two because I got, I ended up with two of these. And one of them is considerably smaller. And when I find it in this mess, I will show you the comparison. And I think they'd be the same price. And I think I ordered them like they were showing up kind of in the same way, but they are very different as far as size wise. Anyway, this is a good size. Um, and I'm going to try it out. And then, you know, you uh, pour your uh, your water in through, just through the holes. And then you have these cute little ice balls sounded fun um so i think this is adorable uh again i'm gonna test these out I, I at a later date i'll do it like sort of an update and i'll show you the product and i'll show you how it did and you know we'll it so i guess i or i don't remember ordering this but i probably did because this was eight cents and i'm i'm betting i thought at eight cents let me see because I sometimes like to do things like this, um, like when I'm doing a little cooking kit, um, especially if I'm selling something uh, during the holidays, I'll put like kits together um, with baking things. And then this is kind of a cute, oh, got to fix the hair. Um, so guys, I mean, it's not huge, but for eight cents, this would be adorable in those kits. I wonder if I can get them in bulk. I wonder if I can get them for that price. You know, like a bunch of them. Okay, uh, next we have a cute little bag. I have become one of those people who likes to just put my phone. My phone has everything in it. It's got, you know, my my credit cards and my ID and my phone. And um, it's kind of all I need. So when I leave the house, I used to be very much a purse person. And I'm not necessarily much anymore sometimes. Um, but uh, every once in a while, I end up with clothing that does not have pockets, which I hate. Clothing stores need to make sure that there are pockets in women's clothing. I'm just saying. Um, however, it happens. So I was looking for like some cute little things that I could throw my phone into um, and still you know, still feel comfortable with them. So this so far is kind of adorable. All right, this was $5.48, which is, which is a deal. Although I'm wondering if the zipper was sitting half open, half, okay. So, oh, so I, what I'll tell you just then, so the, the zipper was zipped, but um, appeared to be zipped, but half of it had opened, which means it's pulled apart. 
Um, and that's always a little bit risky when you got something in it, but it seems to be holding okay now. Um, but it's zipping on the different side. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so it's got that compartment, which is probably for your phone. It has this and inside, I like this strap. That is a, that's, that's not like some tiny thing that's going to make me feel like I'm being strangled. Um, and I think, how big, let's see. Yeah. For me, I also like things to be like really long. I'm 5'9", um, so I don't want anything that's just too short. And I've got a long torso. Um, yeah, so it's going to stretch to a decent length for me. I like that. I do like that. Um, so this is this is attractive. Um, it's got some nice pockets in it. If I wanted something a little different... This is, uh, this is not bad. Okay, that's weird. So as someone who sews, so you can see that this, um, they're doing this sort of inside lining to, as a finish on the inside, but it's sticking out very far. And that means it's gonna catch on your zipper. So I may need to do a little fixing on the inside of it, which is fine. Um, and then you, I just did it again. Okay, and then you've got this cute little front pocket, but again, it was half zipped, half unzipped in the wrong way. So, um, until I use it, I'm gonna give it a five or a six. I like it, I love all the pockets, the zippers seem weak and the sewing is, but I like it. We'll see. I mean, it might work just fine once it's you know, settled in. This next one. All right, I'm super excited about this because our upstairs fan needed pulls and, um, and we didn't have any, and if I can get into it. And um, here we go. So, uh, so I really wanted to get some pulls for the upstairs fan. I saw a lot of different things. Oh, I do like, that. okay. And I uh, wanted something just like this and there it was. They had some very funky, fun, um, cartoony uh, type pulls, but those, those are just not me. So, um, so I really like these actually. These are, these are nice. So, um, those are going on the fan uh, tonight. Um, okay, a 10. I got a 10. I'm excited. Okay. Um, okay, this is another. Oh, did I tell you how much the polls were? Okay, the polls were $369. So, not bad. I think, you know, for, for, the, uh, for those polls, I think that's a good price. Okay, this next thing, this is going to look really weird. I'm going to take it out see if you can see what it does. This was 308. So my husband's going to figure this out. I am not going to try. I'll let him do it. Um, but the, basically what this does is you hang it from the back of your back seat, like your not behind, not the front seats, but the, you know, the back. anyway, you hang from the back seats and then, um, you hang your, uh, umbrellas in it. And I always carry umbrellas. We have some really, really nice ones that we got in England and they're huge. Um, which I also love cause you know, I'm, there's tiny umbrellas and you still get wet. What's the point? Um, but I don't like them rolling around in, um, in the boot, um, in the, uh, the trunk. <laughs> so, um, I'm really excited about this uh, place to put them. Something just went down the cleavage. Excuse me. It's just, um, okay. Um, I don't know how they, the, see the other thing with Timu is there are no instructions. <laughs> Luckily my husband, I know can figure it out, but I can't. I'm looking at it going. Um, so I know that, that your umbrella is gonna sit through here and you can kind of sort, separate it as far as you need to. So. Really excited about those. Okay, 
can't wait to try those. So this is going to be, I don't know where the other one went. Shoot. Okay. So I am also very excited about this because I know what this is. This is like a double-sided, extra thick, sticky tape almost. Um, this roll uh, is five meters long, which is a good, good amount. Um, and it's not tremendously thick. It's maybe, is that, not, is that an inch? No, that's, that's almost like, um, we'll add it up here. That is about three quarters of an inch in width. I don't care. I don't need it to be long. I mean, to be wide. Um, this is one of the few things that works on the walls in my media center and it'll work on anything, you know, it'll work on concrete and, um, it doesn't apparently do great on like papers and things, but I don't want it for paper. Um, so it's also kind of expensive, but this was 68 cents. Now I will tell you, I somehow accidentally bought a second one that's a whole inch thick and that thing was like three something. And I don't know how, when you're like really looking through and you have such a volume of stuff, it's really hard to keep track. Um, I think I finally figured out with my next haul, with my next Timu haul, which, which will be in a while. Um, I'm going to pre-print out um, my, the list of things that, I, that I'm ordering so I can kind of check it against itself. Otherwise, oh, oh, look at this. Look what I found. Okay, but this, this is a 10. This thing works. It, it will stick things to your walls and you can pull it off when you're done. Um, I don't know about, you know, painted walls, but I know it works great for teachers. Great. Okay. This is the other ice cube one. This one was also six cents. Look at the difference. And there was just no way to tell. Um, I don't even know how I ended up with two. I just did. I think I, I think they ended up in each one in each order. And they're the same price, literally the exact same price, look exactly the same otherwise. So until you see them side by side, just saying. Okay, so this is a knockoff, and uh, this is the, what's that stuff called? Oh, super sticky stuff. This is uh, really, really good for, um, I really wish I could remember the name. When I remember the name or I ask my husband, I will type it in, and it'll be below me while you're sitting there going, sharing your clueless, but it's right there on the screen. <laughs> anyway, this stuff is quite expensive. I think a roll like this in the U.S. Um, from the actual, from, you know, from the original maker is like $20 or more. Um, but it's fabulous. It's waterproof. It sticks to everything. It's just what it really, really is wonderful. If this is the exact same stuff or close enough, um, a dollar fifty eight, a dollar fifty eight. You just can't beat that. Um, so this was, so that was my husband. Some of this has been me. Um, it may be that one of the ice cube, oh, oh. <laughs> the chair decided to do fun things um, it's the chair's fault um okay um so anyway some of this was my husband and it may be that he ordered one ice tray and i ordered the other one that might be why we ended up with two but it's just so weird that one is so different um okay so this little brit asked for this is for his switch his nintendo switch and it's just kind of the outside covering makes it more comfortable and i guess you can hold on to it better this was 248 for the control covers so i thought that was pretty cute not a bad deal i think it's not a bad deal i honestly don't know how to price this but um okay this i gotta keep okay i have to fix the bangs sorry there we go how's that better um okay this is just this was just totally for fun this was a dollar 48 let me show you what i got in this little dollar 48 bag it's a it is a wind up penguin let's see if he'll do it on my hand i don't think it will come on so you're supposed to walk along I don't think I've, I don't think I loaded him enough. Anyway. 
Oh, maybe I did it the wrong way. Let's see if it works this time. Uh, there we go. Come on. Oh, okay. He's working on a surface. So <gasps> I don't know. It was just silly. And it's one of those kind of older toys that in this country, I'm oh, sorry, I got something on. Um, in this country would cost you, you know, at least five or more for this cute little, little, little pecking penguin and a penguin um pigeon <laughs> and i just thought it was funny it's the only time i want to want to be up close and, and personal with a pigeon excuse me um okay super cute a dollar 48 i thought that was a really good deal um something else for little brit this was 79 cents and it is a british whistle isn't that cool um so anyone who's British knows, and uh, you all may very well know know the difference here. So the actual British flag is the St. John's Cross. And the one we're so used to seeing is um, the Union Jack. So this is really the British flag. It's kind of plain. I think that's why everyone loves the Union Jack so much. Um, but I got this for a little bit, and it, it's really good. Uh, it's a really good whistle. If you don't want to hear a loud, loud noise, mute me now. Three. Two, one. It's a good whistle. Um, I think uh, uh, men, boys, uh, young men need whistles just as much as girls do. Um, we never talk about that, but I'm just saying. Protect our young ones. A whistle can be um, an incredible tool. So he's got a, he's got this really nice whistle that he just kind of enjoys and he can just enjoy it. There you go. Okay, so moving on. Uh, this one's bag is just broken to heck. Um, so this is a cup holder for your pool side. Um, this is $2.99. We do not have a below ground. We have an above ground pool uh, because our water table is so high. We just just didn't want to mess with it um <laughs> mess with this one i don't know okay no probably this way this way something like this okay again this is for something for uh big brit to figure out um i'm sure i could if i wanted to spend some time with it but i don't want to spend time with it <laughs> to him i mean i could figure it out but why bother um anyway so it attaches here and it sits on the side of your pool uh, i really wanted this i wanted to try this and if i like it i will order more of them a couple more of them just because you know it's nice to have something right there and i don't like things floating in the pool because they get knocked over especially with big brit and little brit being big boys uh 2.99 so not too shabby I have been wanting one of these and I kept forgetting to order it. Okay, 98 cents. This is your avocado um, tool. So let's see if I can get it open. Nope. Nope. Can't get into it. <laughs> I'm just going to have to try to cut it like that. Why? Why do these bags torture me so? There we go. See, once I start, you know, whining. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So you, uh, I, I really like that it's got this cover on it. Honestly, a lot of the tools and things that we have that I see here in the States don't always have these nice protective covers. So you've got a nice protective cover, even though it's not terribly sharp. sharp. This is not, um, this is serrated, but it's not, you know, but it'll cut through your avocado. So you can get in there. You can, you can get out, you can get the, um, you know, the pit out and then, um, and then you scoop your avocado like this. And then you have nice, I really love avocado. You have a nice avocado pieces. I love avocado. Big Brit and Little Brit. But, you know, that's okay. This one I'm not taking out of the bag. Okay, so this is, a, this was $1.98 and you get, how many do you get in here? A bunch. And you get a bunch. I think it's 10. 
So this is this cute little thing. Um, this is double-sided, sticky, like bug sticky. Um, so you can put this around your plants. Um, I don't intend to put it outside because I don't want it to catch bees. So that would concern me. I don't, I just don't want anything, you know, hurting the bees because, you know, there are pollinators and we need them. <laughs> so, um, but inside every time we live in the South, every time I have daggone bananas, we're getting the, the little fruit flies, which are nuts. Um, those I don't mind taking out of the frag out of the equation. So we'll put this out and see if these work. And hopefully they do. Um, cause I do not like the fruit flies. Okay, this next one, this was, this is a cute little um, uh, foldable funnel. If I can get it to, oh, there we go. This is adorable. This is adorable. So uh, I, I, ha I stopped rating and I shouldn't have because, uh, you know, unless I tell you it's less than a 10 or uh, I'm thinking it's pretty close to. Um, I, what I need this for, and I'm probably going to get a few more of these because this was a whopping 38 cents. Um, and I've seen ones very similar to this in Dollar Tree for a Dollar Tree. Five. Um, so what I really need this for is when I'm filling my pen cushions, I have, um, the, walnuts, that's it, crushed walnuts. And the funnels that I have right now, they, they, they come to more of a fine tip, not too much more, but they come to a fine tip and it's just gets clogged so easily. Uh, so I wanted something with a little bit bigger tip and maybe something a little bit more, I don't know, smooth. So I want to try this one. I'm excited to try this one, but there are a lot of other things I could use this funnel for. So I like it. All right, there we go. And then it folds up nice and small, you know, you can't beat that. And it stores easy. I love storing easy. Okay, next thing. Okay, this is something we're going to try. And this is something I will tell you about when, once we're done. These are drier, I don't know, dryer. They're not dryer balls, but these are dryer pieces to get animal pet hair off of your clothing. We have two dogs and they are, you know, part of the family but they shed. So I am really hoping that these work. So you're supposed to be able to just throw them in. I'm going to have to look it up because again, no instructions. Um, but you're meant to be able to put these into your dryer. And uh, they were 99 cents for the pair. Looking at them, they look sticky. I'm going to open one. I mean, oh, okay. So it looks sticky and I guess it kind of is, but it isn't. I know that does make sense, but so it looks very sticky and you know, you can see where it would be a little bit, but it's not sticky, sticky. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> I'll still describe that. I'm excited to try these. So I'm going to try these, um, probably tomorrow when I do laundry, um, cause we're going to need laundry soon. So those are super fun a good one um so i bought this pack of thank you cards because i need to get i really 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 need to get the etsy shop open um and as i do that i got those little stickers but i wanted something a little bit more substantial and i just thought this was really sweet so it's got thank you on this side and i will put our little brits uh, symbol on this side um and for a dollar fifty eight I mean, you really can't touch that in this country for that price. So let me get those back. Um, and so also for the business cards for when we start doing the shows again, um, I got this uh, business card holder. I just wanted something simple. I don't want anything to detract from the table because I like my tables to be nice and bright and colorful. But I also need business cards because I now, you know, people are asking for them. So... And you get them out there. Okay. So it's just a really simple. I like that. Business card holder. Perfect. That is actually perfect. Put that over there. We're doing good. Those are perfect. 
Okay, moving on. Oh, this little thing. This was very different. This again, this was deceptive, but I'm okay with it being a little deceptive in sizing um, because I like this better than what I thought I was getting. If that makes sense. It was, this was $4.58. And what this is meant for, so Big Brit wears uh, baseball caps. He wears hat. he has a couple of other really nice hats, um, but he also wears baseball caps kind of all the time. Um, and he's not, you know, He's not balding or any, you, uh, that sounds terrible. There's, that's not good. That doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> um, he just likes to wear baseball caps. So, okay. So, uh, so Big Brit really likes to wear uh, baseball caps. So uh, I thought the way it looked in the picture was that this was going to be a lot taller. And I was thinking, it looks just like a towel bar. Um, it's not, but I really thought it would be taller. I'm very happy it's not. This is shorter. This is um, six inches. So this is about six inches tall. But of course, your hats, when you start putting them on by the back, of, you know, by the, that, that space in the hat, they'll all kind of stack up nicely. Uh, so this was, I think this was a good find. I'm excited to try it. And I think he is too, because he's constantly losing his hats because he doesn't have something cool to put them on. And now he does. Take a picture when it's, when it's up. All right, let's get that in there. Okay, what's next in my bag of tricks here? I should do. Um, okay, this one I'm not going to take out. This one I was... I could take it out. Okay, this is this whole cute set. You've got a cutting board. Um, you've got a um, pear and a, a nice little knife. Um, I'm going to open, I am going to open it. So this was only a dollar 18. Let me get my scissors because there is no way I'm opening this without scissors. Um, but even the plastic it was in is a little bit, it says it's ceramic peeler kitchen good helper. Okay. Ooh, it fell out there. Whoa. It's really thin. Now, it may also be a really good cutter. I mean, I don't know yet, but it's super duper thin. So, you know, I'll tell you if I like it, I might. I mean, being that thin, the cutting mats have to be so thick. Um, this feels kind of cheap, but for what I paid for it, I, you know, I would expect that. This one is not too bad. Actually, this one feels decent. Um, it's got a nice looking blade on there. And again, I love that it's got, um, a protector. Love that. So I'll let you know. I'll let you know how it cuts and how it is. You know, here we're so used to, you know, the really thick cutting mats. I don't know. Maybe they don't need to be so thick. I was so excited to get this. It's the silliest thing. Um, okay, so this was a dollar eighteen, and I know you're like, oh, okay. What the heck is it? Oh, so this is for hanging off of your um, a cabinet, a cabinet door, and then you can hang a bag in it. Oh, hold on one second, please. One moment, please. This is where I should play elevator music for you. Okay. Shockingly, it's a Dollar Tree bag. So it's supposed to do this. So you can use up those bags just like that. I suppose it could go on the inside too. I wonder if it would work better on the inside. 
I think it, I don't. I, I guess it, it doesn't really matter which way it hangs. I, it actually seems to be. And then once you start putting stuff in it, it'll certainly hold well. Oh, that that's better. Um, okay, so you like I said, you just hang it off. So let's say you know you're doing some cooking or you're peeling or like especially for me, for us in the holidays when we're doing like a lot of food and we're constantly chopping and cutting and getting things this would be great just to hang and you know it's right there on the cabinet so we can just dump stuff straight in i just was really excited about this they had they showed a few other things to do with it um you know and it's not tremendously finished but it was only like a dollar or something right so what was this one a dollar 18 can't beat that. Cheaper than Dollar Tree. Just saying. <laughs> okay. This one threw me for a loop. It was the weirdest thing. So I told you this came in, in multiple. This was two orders and I think it came in four different sets. Four, I mean, four different bags and boxes and things. And one of the bags I think disappeared along the way. This was in one that only had like two or three things in it. And I was like, what in the world is this? So I had to look back at my stuff. So this is another one of those. It's meant to be, it's called a sticky bone. This is something that I wanted to try out for next time we're eating outside. And I could hang it and see if it'll stop because we just, the flies and the mosquitoes are just killing me here in North Carolina. I guess, I, I don't know how I expected them to send it, but this is how they sent it. Pretty much just wrapped a piece of wax paper around it and it, it it's exactly what it says it is. It's a, it's a sticky ball. Um, they had a ribbon with it on in the ad, um, in the picture that there wasn't anything with it on this one. Um, and I don't think I put a, oh, I did put a price on it. This was $1.28. I will see. I mean, it might be really great and it might last for a while, but I think for $1.28, um, I will withhold my judgment. Okay. Oh, this one. So this is adorable, but not really what I thought I was getting. So um, let me show you. Before, I'll take it out of the bag before I show you because it's not going to look as good as it can if I don't take it out of the bag. So I just thought this was a great idea. They had a ton of the Alice in Wonderland um, little zipper pouches. And it's really cute. Um, it's almost canvassy, but not quite. And, you know, it's, it's pretty simply done. Um, yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> Isn't that terrible when you sew and you're like, well, I'm going to check it out. See, um, So it's not lined. It was $1.58, which is pretty cheap. But I will say, um, now, Dollar Tree does do um, very nice bags. They just don't, they, you know, I, I really wanted the Alice in Wonderland one. Um, it looked like it would be richer. Um, but I think instead of ordering another one of these, I'll probably go to Books A Million where they have some really, really nice ones. Um, or I'll just order some fabric and make my own. <laughs> so there are some things I'd rather just spend a little bit more money on and, and get something that's a little bit more. I mean, this is perfectly functional, but not as attractive as I thought it was going to be. So, um, oh, talking about sticky things and flies that we were just talking about. So, I was excited to order this for $1.38. Now, I had ordered, not ordered, I had picked up uh, for $1.25 a, you know, from the Dollar Tree, a fly swatter. But this one, yeah, once again, we live in the South. And I cannot stand, I just can't, I'm sorry. Flying bugs and things, mm-mm. They, they must leave that, you know, I'm sorry if, if you invaded my house. I will not suffer you to, to be here. Um, so anyway, I thought that this was going to be kind of fun. It, it This is small. I will say this is a lot smaller than what we're used to in this country. Because the one I got from Dollar Tree was probably twice this size. Um, but I love 
I guess you really don't need anything huge. We're so you. Um, but I do love that it is that, you know, that it extends. I'll keep doing this. I could do this all day. <laughs> That's why I love the toys. Um, so for $1.38, it's not bad. I'll let you know. It looks kind of bent. So you got to make sure, you know, I want to make sure that it actually is going to kill something. Hopefully it'll be a really long time before I have to use it. So we'll just put that little guy away. Oh, what's next? Okay. This was another one I was kind of excited about. This was a dollar sixty-eight, and it is a um, like a fold-up grocery bag. So let's see if I can get it out. So it comes like this. You can see it. It actually is all nice and folded, and almost got you know, a little pocket here. And then let me see if I can unfold it. I like the material. Um, it's almost um, like a rain cover. Oh, wow, it's huge. Okay, so you've got your little pocket, which then goes inside and acts like a pocket for the inside. And that is fabulous. It's huge. That little thing just became this ginormous bag. I love it. 10, 10, 10. Oh, okay, yes, definitely. This is fabulous. I will fold it back up later. I'll have to learn how to fold it back up again in, into its inner, inner pocket. What a great design too. I really, I'll have to look at the design. I like to deconstruct and reconstruct. Weird. But a dollar sixty-eight. yeah, yeah. So I let me show you a comparison actually. So this, um, it, this is well finished. It's really finished nicely. It's not, um, it, it folds up nicely. It's, it's a very slick, like a heavy duty material, but this feels like almost like a rain jacket, like a nice rain jacket. It's really nice. I love this. Um, okay. And so my little pocket uh, went back down and this is the pocket you fold it back up into and then it goes back in and you've got a pocket in there It is a brilliant design. So by comparison Oh one second, please By comparison this is from the Dollar Tree and I love I mean I love it I love the design on it. I love the color of it. You know, I love the saying but it's brittle um, You know, you can almost feel it's like um it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's just brittle. It, yep, it's water, probably waterproof on the outside. Um, it's made okay. You know, nothing finished here. Almost like somebody took one of those sealer things with it. Um, so, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I love it. Um, okay, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel like I'm so excited. Okay, sorry, I digress. Uh, so Big Brit wanted another one this time. One of these in white and one's black, just to go with some th repairs he wanted to do, whatever it is. And this is interesting. So this one, so here they are again, side by side. This, they are both four by uh, four inch by five foot rolls, exact same size. This. The white one was a dollar fifty-eight, and the black one was a dollar ninety-eight. Forty cents more expensive. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. As it is, still like eighteen dollars cheaper than I can bet it here. So, okay, next one. Okay, <laughs> I stopped the video in between because I had something. To, um, now, I don't know where I am as far as timing. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to keep going for another minute or two. Um, this cool little thing is actually for holding your phone. So you attach to the wall. It was 58 cents. It comes with, um, this is um, like the double-sided heavy-duty sticky tape. Uh, and here it is, really simple. 
um, my phone room I'm actually using to record, uh, but this is actually for Little Brit. So he has something to hang up. He has a, a bunk bed right now. And so getting things that are, that make it easier for him to hang things up right there. So being able to put his phone right next to him and we can have the cord go up and charge it. Yep. Not bad deal. All right. 58 cents. Take it. Okay, next. This is a dollar thirty-eight. This is for gardening. For my gardening friends. And this is meant to so okay, so it's really just you put it down when you are uh um like repotting or you know, anytime you're working on um with dirt. How's that? So it is definitely waterproof material and it's that simple. So I put it together and now I have this nice little container so the dirt's not going to spill out. There are actually a lot of uses I can think of for something like this. And I love that, you know, when you're done, clean it off, undo it and just fold it back up again and store it away. Anything that stores nice and easy for me. And flat. <laughs> I love that. Um, oh my golly. Guys, this, this box is still halfway full. And I think we're closing in on an hour. I'm going to do like two or three more things. And then I'm going to do, because it's actually getting kind of late for me here. Um, and then we're going to do another one like part two of the household stuff. Um, I'll do that tomorrow so I can start getting these out to you a little bit quicker, but I there's just still a lot of stuff in here. All right, let's see what's next. This probably should have been with the other haul with my like more um, clothing and things. Uh, this was $5.18. And again, it's one of those things that I wanted uh, to use for, um, when I don't have pockets or just when I need something else. Um, this is, you know, it's a pleather. It's not bad. I will say, I just wish they didn't have this. I, I don't need that. Um, I'm going to find a way to get rid of it or cover it. Um, it says forever Lingru, originally from fashion. Okay. Uh, so you got this bigger pocket here where your phone goes and my phone just fits well with it's got a case so um and it's got a big case and then you have the second pocket which has this is actually really nicely packaged look at that um and that's that thinner one it's okay but it's not my favorite um but it is what it is and then you have this very tight pocket up front. I'm not really sure what I would do with that one because it's it's really tight. Um, and that's it. And then it folds back up again. So this is a just a really nice, uh, simple little little bag that I can use. So I like it. 518. Not bad. This one I found exciting. So th this is a cute little um, sewing kit like a little emergency sewing kit and if you have anyone in your life who is traveling or maybe someone who's away at school I cannot imagine something better so you know you've got your little measuring tape you've got really a cheap little pair of scissors um you've got a thimble um there's even some replacement snaps in here button um buttons needle threader and um, safety pins. And then you pull the top off and inside you have your needles and just a whole bunch of different colors of thread. And it's not just that like little tiny pieces. I mean, this is a decent amount of, of thread in here. Um, I think this is a great deal. I really do. This would be so cute in like a little... Um, oh my golly, care package kit for a kid 
or or just um you know I don't know just anybody. I think these I think that's just adorable. Now again, this was like I said it was 99 cents. And Dollar Tree sells little ones, little emergency kits, and they're, I mean, they're little. And if you just want it for your purse, that's good. But this is something I can keep in my desk at school and have enough um, ability to actually sew on a button for a kid or fix a snap or, you know, I like it. Or I can add a few other things in here that I know I may need. So I just think that's really cute. Honestly, that little container is almost worth the 99 cents right there without the stuff inside. Winner. Winner, winner. This is another thing Little Brit asked for. He just thought this was so fun. Red is his favorite color. Uh, this was 89 cents, and all it is is a stylus. I can't open it. I promised him he could take it out of the bag. Um, but that's all it is. It's not a pen. It's just a stylus. And he just thought that that was the coolest thing. It was very... Um, uh, Declaration of Independence, um, you know, so I thought that's cute. Let's see. I'm going to do a f five more minutes. <laughs> Once I put this together, watch it be like an hour and 20 minutes. And I'm gonna... um, okay, so uh, this was another kind of exciting find, and I hope it works. So this is an oximeter. It was $1.69. I can tell you, we went looking for these. We've looked for them more than once. We have actually now, I think, two of them. Uh, one's super nice. Let's see if it's already, oh, I think it needs batteries. Um, it must It must need batteries. I'll have Big Brit look at it. Oh, there. Oh yeah, it needs batteries. I keep trying to turn it on, it's got no batteries in it. Um, but, um, it's just really important it, it, in the age of COVID um, knowing your blood oxygen level is pretty important because if it goes below, I think it's 90 something around there. If it goes below that, then you need to go get help. Um, and just, it's just one of those things that's now becoming a staple for us in all of our um, um, first aid kits and which of which we have, I don't even know how many, um, but there's one in the car and there's one in the house. And then I have one at school along with the one the school gives me. And then I have a couple that I carry around. So um, you never know. And they have come in quite handy. Oh, story. Story time. Um, talking about needing something. Oh, it's got a nice little, um, you can put a little string. Um, so Little Brit this past week, and I don't think I said this before. Um, little Brit was we bought him a new bike because he's gotten so much taller. So we just bought him a 26 inch bike and it is a little bit tall for him at the moment, but not by much. I mean, by the end of the summer, uh, it still fits him. However, he needed to learn how to ride it being taller. You know, how do you, when you're controlling something like that, you don't have as much space and he just had to get used to it. So he's been riding it, doing great. No problems, just getting used to this new bike. Uh, but still a couple of times, it'll just, um, when he has to stop, it gets a little bit. So he needed to stop. Car was coming. He was actually on the sidewalk, but he wanted to stop. No, he was coming off the, coming back onto the sidewalk. And it just, he, he ran into a telephone pole. He ran into a telephone pole. At first, I thought his arm was broken. It was not. It was just jarred really badly. But he did break his big toe. And man, he took... I really thought we were headed to the ER because he took such a section off of that toe. Um, you know, there's only... If you go too deep, you can do damage. And uh, anyway, cleaned it up, butterfly stitched it, all of those things. So he hasn't been able to wear shoes this week. So he's, he wears, he's been wearing his flip-flops, which is generally a no-no in our school. Um, but because of the injury, he got away with it. But yeah, anyway, there's my, that's, that's the whole story. Just talking about first aid. So we had everything on hand that I needed. We had butterfly stitches and I had gauze and I had the wraps and I had everything I needed um, to properly treat the injury. <laughs> everything in the kitchen sink. Um, the only thing I won't do is, is sutures. 
I won't. Mm -mm. No, I will. I will hold that thing as tight as possible, but I am not stitching skin. Mm, no. Mm. Okay. Let's <laughs> on that lovely note. <laughs> Y'all can just tell me, Sharon, stop. That was too much information, which would be just fine. You can tell me that. Um, okay. I will grab this cute little thing. Okay, so this is, so we're, tr I'm trying out a couple of their different laundry detergent um, little sheets. These are the ones that you pretty much just throw them in your laundry. Um, and they just clean your laundry. Uh, we bought this one, was a $1.88. It will do 30 loads. $1.88. And it doesn't leave behind all of the additional plasticky residue. So, you know, it's this is compact little thing, not the giant jugs, which I really liked. And somewhere in here, I don't know if I'm going to find the other ones. So, you know that um, the other day I also had a different one somewhere in here, and I'll show it when I, when I get to it eventually. Um, we fa I found um, another one, and it just came. It was like a plain plastic bag and and so um we tried this one i wanted to try and then there was one more that's like an antiseptic one that is supposed to really take out the dirt and the germs and everything uh because in particular big bread he just he can be very dirty <laughs> well it's it's his work it's his, so we actually sanitize all of his um work stuff just to get it clean and just to get all of in particular, when he used to have to go into people's homes to do, to do stuff. So um, anyway, I got some some of the ones that's supposed to sanitize, because also you never know when we're gonna be back to sanitizing things. So we got that. I keep I. It's like I can't stop. It's like I I'm putting it down. I'm putting it down. <laughs> that's it. I think we're probably into this for an hour. Um, I will do another haul for you all uh, tomorrow, and. Um, Hopefully you'll start, I'm going to go ahead and start posting these. Um, and I will probably have two weeks worth of Timu hauls for you. Because <laughs> there's a lot of stuff. But for right now, I think that's plenty. And um, so we'll consider this household items part one. And uh, there's loads, loads more to show you. So um, I'll be back. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, if you want to see other things, please, please, please subscribe and um, and hit the like button and send me a comment. I love to hear what you have to say, whatever your comment might be. I'm happy, happy to hear it. And, um, you know, that's all. <laughs> Sometimes I just feel <laughs> like I'm rambling. Okay, that's probably because I am rambling. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling now. It was great having you guys with me today. I'll see you later. Cheers.